was just thinking about that scripture, you know, decree a thing. And I got to thinking, this is just who I am. What's a thing? Tell your neighbor, what is a thing? A thing is a, a thing. I remember my dad used to say to us kids, grab your things and let's go. He didn't name them off. He didn't count them. He said, just get your things and let's go. And so I looked up thing in the Strong's Concordance and it was so brilliant the way that it said it. It said that a thing in Hebrew means a thing. So I looked it up in the Greek, and it means a thing. But it says, decree a thing, and it shall be established. Something, anything, a thing, everything, decree the word of the Lord, and it will be established and that's why we're in the house tonight to decree the word of the Lord and it will be established so I looked up that word established what does that mean decree a thing a thing and it shall be established that means you decree a thing and God's going to put it on his timeline. And when, and, and Dutch teaches on this too, so I don't want to mess it up, but he has four words for time. Chronos, Kairos, Heros, and Pluros. Here's where we're at. We're at the right time. We're at the fullness of time. So what, what happens when you decree a thing God establishes it in the spirit. He puts it on his timeline. So when the time comes and the people are in place and the place is set and all of those things are in alignment, then God says, all things are possible with me. We're right there. We're at the right time. We're at the fullness of time. We're on that place in God's time line right now. So we're decreeing a thing. And listen, with God, all things are possible. So if it's a thing, it's possible. 